Hello there and welcome back to Satisfactory Years. Back on good old Satisfactory, ready, con ready to continue where we left off. But first, you know what time it is. We've got to talk about Booster Aid, uh, the cloud gaming service that we're going to be, or that uh, we usually use anyway, uh, to uh, play this game. Uh, more on that later. Um, but first, uh, what is Boostroid? Boostroid is a cloud gaming service that allows you to play your PC games on pretty much any device. This includes mobile devices such as cell phones and tablets, all the way up to smart televisions and even desktops and laptops, with no installation and no hassle as to worry about if uh, your device can handle the game. You just let Boostroid worry about that. <laughs> Old daddy Boostroid. <laughs> There we go. We'll throw in a joke. Um, but yeah, um, that's uh, pretty much Booster Aid, so it allows you to play those games without installation and uh, without uh, worrying about if you'll be able to handle it on your device. Um, Booster Aid has some top-of-the-line gaming PCs for you to be able to uh, access uh, and uh, from any of the devices that uh, they support. And they do mean pretty much any any PC game. They support most of them, so that's good. Alright. Okay. And usually, um, I'll just run around with this. Uh, usually, we uh, end up using uh, Boost Right in order to play this game like you're seeing on screen now, Satisfactory. Uh, that's what we have been using. There's plenty of videos out there for you to watch uh, of me playing games and of others playing games, of course, uh, using the Boost Right service. As well as there's plenty of review videos and all kinds of stuff you can find uh, on Booster Aid to make your in informed buying choice. Uh, but today is going to be a little bit different uh, than we usually uh, do. And this is uh, all because of my internet connection. Um, I have been uh, having a lot of issues with uh, internet speeds and stuff like that. And I don't have the internet speed in order to uh, support... Uh, playing uh using this on boost right so uh internet connection is very very important and uh as you can uh as you can see here this is what my internet is currently at <laughs> as you can see there it is uh very very poor i'm doing about eight megabytes a second that's the best i can do and my upload speed is in the hundreds of kilobytes it is it is bad um so this is uh this is what happens when you don't have good enough internet connection you cannot you cannot uh, stream games or anything like that i can barely upload a video um and stuff like that so it is going to be a major issue for me for the next uh, couple of days and if you have been following the channel you would already know that this is the case so i am unable to do that but we're still going to uh, talk about Booster Aid and, uh, and the features and stuff like that, just like we normally would. It's just, like I said, going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit different today. Okay, so um, usually I show you that I'm playing within a browser and stuff like that. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, that is uh, not an option um, right now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of skip that part. Uh, really uh, but this is the uh, this is the uh, boost raids main page at least I can still access that um, yeah this is boost raids main page like I said um, that uh, when you sign up or sign in this is what you're going to be greeted with there's my cursor okay we had some uh, having some technical issues here uh yeah um so yeah this is uh we'll talk about that in a minute as well but like i said when you sign up or sign in this is what you're going to be greeted with uh their main uh page here um and if you have a game library uh saved with uh Boost Ride, this is where it's going to be underneath my games uh, as well so if we go over to the library section you can see that there's tons and tons of games uh, that they support as well. They don't support every PC game, uh, but they do support uh, most of them. This is just because of their uh, um, because of their their storage. They have to pay for all their storage uh, to store all these games on, so that you don't have to install them. Um, so that's kind of how that works, and that's that's why they don't support every single game, but they got support for most of them, including the new ones. Um, 
and a lot of the new ones will usually appear at the top of the page or close to the top of the page and sometimes they'll even say uh, have a little banner that says new on them uh, when they add brand new ones so um, but yeah the uh, first couple things you're gonna uh, kind of look at here um, you're gonna say that some games say license required and some games say free uh, it doesn't matter which ones you're trying to play you still need a boost rate subscription in order to uh, in order to play that game uh, the reason that this is, is even with the free games, uh, you're still using their servers and their hardware in order to, uh, in order to play that game. Uh, you're still using that computer uh, that you're connected to through the stream uh, in order to play the free games. So that is the reason why. Uh, same with the license required. The license required, if you don't know what that means, that basically means that you need to own the game in order to play it on Boost Ride. So uh, when you go to play the game, you can see when I hover my mouse cursor over, it says play here. Uh, if when you go to play the game, it's going to have you sign in either through Steam or through Epic, depending on the icon above. You can see this one has an Epic Games icon. This one has a Steam icon. Uh, depending on which one you click play on, it's going to have you log into that. And then it's going to verify that you have the game and then it's going to launch it. Uh, it it's also going to download your save because that's how the saves work. They pull from the uh, Steam and Epic uh, cloud saves. Uh, storage in order to load your saves uh, so that you can continue saves that you uh, played on your computer previously so um, but yeah uh, that is uh, pretty much that um, the other thing is uh, like I said to be aware of is uh, with the license required make sure you have the uh, you own the games but if you're going to add games to your library uh, you can see there's a little plus icon with most of these. I usually use uh, SnowRunner as an example. So you can search games up here if you don't want to scroll endlessly. Um, oh, that does remind me too. Uh, the other thing they just recently added, it was about a month ago or so now. Um, they just recently added, let me find it. There it is. Uh, you can uh, connect your Boostrite account to your Steam account. Um, so that basically what this does is uh, Boostroid will look at all your, all of your Steam games. It'll verify all the games that Boostroid supports, and it'll add them over here uh, so that you don't even have to search them up. It'll just add them straight over here. I don't know what happened to those two slots. Weird. Um, it's like, oh, there we go. See, my internet connection is a little bit... It's not great. <laughs> so uh, it is not great. But yeah... Um, and uh, I also use SnowRunner as, as an example. So when you click that plus icon, um, you can uh, it, it will add it to your games library. Uh, but uh, you'll sometimes run across a situation where you have uh, a, the Steam version and the Epic version. Um, the little icon will tell you. Obviously, this says Steam as well. Um, so make sure you click on the play on the on the one that you own. Um, it, nothing bad will happen. It'll just not launch the game. So it's, it's not it's not that bad. But <laughs> Yeah, and uh, as well as uh, if you don't want to uh, buy games through uh, through Steam or Epic, but you would like to own some games to play on Boostroid, you can go through the Fanatical Store. The Fanatical Store is its own thing, but they do have a, a kind of a deal with uh, Boostroid, so they're allowed to put the Fanatical Store on Boostroid. And the, basically, what this is is it's just a game key store uh, where you can buy the games that are supported by Boostroid. Uh, you can buy the games there and you will get a game key and then there's two tutorials here one for steam one for epic on how to activate those keys on those uh, services so that's uh, pretty much that um so talking about uh cloud saves uh, again here um cloud saves are very very important uh when it comes to that so if you have cloud saves uh, either through Steam or Epic, uh, Boostroid's going to automatically pull from that because they don't have access to your personal files on your computer. So they're uh, not able to pull um, saves. And you might run into a situation, it, it's very rare, but there are some games out there like Dyson Sphere Program that uh, do not have cloud saves enabled. This is a fault of the developer of the game, not a fault of uh, Boostroid itself. Um, the developers of uh, uh, of, of a Dyson Sphere program. There we go. Brain, come on, work. Uh, the developers of Dyson Sphere program do not have um, they do not have cloud saves enabled. Uh, but Boostroid has kind of rectified this a little bit. So if you start a game of say Dyson Sphere program on Boostroid, 
uh, they will save your progress to the Boostrite server, so when you go to play that game on Boostrite again, you can then resume that save. Um, you know, so that's uh, they kind of rectified it a little bit to the best of their ability, so that's just uh, one of those things. Um, but yeah, normal games, what you're going to run into is you're going to just run into just as cloud saves and it says your progress will be saved on the platform uh, server. So uh, the other thing about cloud saves is very, very important is when you're playing a game, no matter which device you're on, make sure you exit the game as if you're on a PC. You basically, you save your game if you can, uh, save your game and then exit. And then the, uh, the session is then going to upload that save to the cloud so that you can then uh, re uh, load that save either on your PC when you go back to it or um, through Boostroid again later on when you go and start a new session. So, uh, but yeah, cloud saves are very, very important. That'll keep your save data. So, and again, going back to, they do not have access to your personal files. This also means that uh, third party software and uh, mods are not available on Boostroid. Um, so, do keep that in mind that if you have a game, the, uh, a saved game uh, on any of these that uh, runs on mods, um, you could potentially ruin your save data by not running those mods uh, because mods are, you know, kind of integrated into the save. So um, Boostrade does not support uh, mods, uh, especially because they do not support third party software. Um, games like Satisfactory here. They have a, uh, uh, they have what's called a mod manager, and that is a third-party software. So I cannot run my Satisfactory mods on my uh, when I'm uh, playing Satisfactory with Boostroid. Unfortunately, that that case is not today. But um, yeah, it is unfortunate um, that uh, you can't do because there's some really cool mods and stuff out there. However, there is some exceptions to the rule. Uh, some exceptions to the rule are games like SnowRunner here. Uh, SnowRunner has a built-in mod manager. So if you want to use, if you want to continue a save in SnowRunner that has mods, you can absolutely get those mods back because the mod manager is built in and you're already connected to the internet. So you can just get those mods um, uh, for your, uh, for your save. So, um, and uh, some other exceptions are, I don't know how Epic works, but with the Steam Workshop, uh, Steam sometimes automatically downloads saves uh, or download say uh, downloads mods for for saves and stuff like that too. So uh, that's just another thing. Uh, also, uh, as you had seen there recently, they had also done a, a deal with Microsoft um, to add Xbox Game Pass games to Boostroid as well. So uh, and some some other Xbox games and stuff like that. So they, they've done a little deal like there. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, the game section of this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and move on to the uh, the help section first. So there's a few different ways to get help um, to uh, if you're having issues or anything like that. There's there's a few ways you can uh, you can uh, kind of hopefully get those problems solved and stuff like that uh, with Boostroid. One of the main ones is going to be the help center. So when you click that question mark, this is what you're going to be uh, greeted with. Um, they've got um, uh, quite a few different uh, articles on here. Um, you can also type in the search bar up here, and that will also link you to a few different articles. And, you know, just kind of keywords that are related to your issue and maybe find some help through there. That's one of the fastest ways uh, to get help for, you know, just general just general help stuff. And they've got uh, quite a bit of information in here too. Uh, if you're looking for more info on, uh, on boost itself and, and stuff like that. So, uh, the other option is, is if you have a boost rate subscription, there is this little live chat service button down here. They also made it appear on the main page again. Um, but yeah, there's this little live chat service. You can click this, uh, and this will open up a little side panel and you, fo uh, you, uh, follow the, on-screen instructions there, uh, and then you will be connected to a live chat service agent. Uh, once they verified your account, then they will help you with your issue there. Um, they can they can look at live data. They can uh, even watch the session that you're playing to 
to see the issues and they can see what you're saying as well as do all the background stuff and, and whatnot because they have access to those computers that you're accessing they have access to those computers and they can just access them at will which is pretty nice and very helpful so uh, if you're having any particular issues you can be like look see this is the issues i'm having they can they can help you out through there uh, and identify the problems and uh, either give you advice on how to rectify it if it's something on your end or rectify it themselves if it's something on their end so yeah just one of those uh other things as well as you can uh, request games through the live chat service as well um it's like calling into a call center but uh, much easier and faster to use <laughs> uh which is just awesome uh but yeah that's pretty much the help center there they also have a discord channel if you are looking for um if you're looking for help through there or you want to check out some other stuff, maybe connect some other gamers that do cloud gaming through Boostroid, that kind of stuff, uh, you can go through the Discord channel um, if you use Discord and uh, you can get some help through there. You can find videos like mine and others, uh, other gameplay videos that use Boostroid services in order to play games. Uh, so you can see kind of that stuff live as well as uh, you can also find plenty of uh uh, plenty of tutorials and tips and, and just all kinds of information out there on YouTube itself um, through the Discord channel uh, as well to, uh, to get information through there. Okay then, so back over here on the main page, I would like to mention just one little thing uh, before we move on is uh, internet connection is uh, very, very important. So make sure you have a good, strong internet connection as you can see mine was having issues um but uh yeah make sure you have a good strong internet connection in order to use boosteroid um if it if it is possible your device has an ethernet port ethernet is the strongest and the most stable connections out there but with most devices these days obviously it's all going to be wireless uh so if you are on if you are using a wi-fi network you are connected to a wi-fi um with any with any of those devices make sure that it is the five gigahertz um band channel uh that you're using uh, your, your device can use the five gigahertz because the 2.4 is not strong enough for this type of stuff you're not only um you're not only sending out information or you're not only receiving information like the stream of the game and, and what you're seeing from live from the computer that you're accessing you're also sending out data as your input data so um basically if we go uh for you over here back over to our game that is just hanging out um you know uh when you're moving around uh within the game or whatever whatever you're doing those inputs are being sent out to a computer that's more than likely halfway across the planet depending on where you live of course whatever country you are but for me it's halfway across the planet because i live over in the u.s and they're uh, they're based over in ukraine so uh, we're connecting to a computer uh over there uh and uh, those inputs are being sent out. So that's why the internet connection needs to be incredibly strong um, for that as well. So yeah, just make sure you have a decent enough internet connection in order to use Boostroid. They, they do recommend more than 25 megabits of download speed uh, and less than 20 milliseconds of uh, latency. However, um, my latency usually runs around 50 to 60 milliseconds. Um, latency have it, latency only really matters if you're playing uh, competitive multiplayer games with boosteroid uh, so you might want to pay attention to those being you know in the 20 millisecond range or whatever so that's basically that but you don't have to have 20 milliseconds um, in order to play most games uh, like single player games like satisfactory for instance um, and if you start getting into the like the 80s and 90s milliseconds, you might notice you might start noticing some input lag and maybe a little bit of quality drop on Boostroid's end um, or on the streams end from Boostroid um, in order to keep the connection. So um, the way they keep the connection uh, with this game is, or with this game with uh, their service, is they will drop stream quality in order to stay connected because if if you lose connection completely. Um, you could possibly lose uh, progress on your save data. However, Boostroid has also kind of rectified this uh, issue as well. Um, because everything is with the cloud 
the, the cloud service uh, with the saves and stuff like that, all that's saved over the cloud, that should you lose connection for any reason completely from the stream, you cannot reconnect um, to the computer you were connected to, the, um, the session that you were using, or the computer you're using, will stay connected to that session long enough to upload either your most recent manual save or your most, or your most recent autosave. Um, should you lose connection, so you know, at most you might you might have to go back to or you might have to reload an autosave uh, when you get reconnected. So uh, they've kind of rectified that so that uh, issues where um, you would you know lose power or lose internet entirely uh, while you're connected to a session, um, they wanted to kind of help out and make sure you don't lose hours and hours and hours worth of gameplay. Unless there was no saves uh, uh, from the previous one, of course. Uh, but yeah, if the autosave kicked off or you manually saved before that happened, um, then that session will then sync that most recent save to the cloud servers uh, to make sure that you don't make sure you don't lose too much. <laughs> you know, so that, that that and honestly, that's the best they can do uh, within their realm of um, being able to do things to kind of rectify that issue because it is all cloud save based um which was which like i said exiting the game as if you're on a pc is the most important thing go back to where you signed in either through steam or epic and uh get that cloud save uh uploaded so then you don't lose uh save data but anyway uh that's pretty much uh what i want to talk about there Okay then, now over to the uh, over to the buying section of Boostroid, of course. Um, yeah, these are the uh, these are the two options that you do have here. Where's my cursor? There's my cursor. Uh, I'm doing this a different way than I'm used to, so it's uh, it's a little bit weird. Uh, but yeah, these are the uh, pricing. This is the pricing section. Uh, these are the two different prices. Uh, this one obviously Ultra is not available yet. Um, so make sure that, uh, uh, or make sure you, you know, you're only looking at the standard, obviously. <laughs> I mean, you can look at the ultra all you want, but, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's not available yet. They're still working on it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, with the ultra, you would get the high end. So VM is virtual machine basically, cause you're connecting via, uh, virtually to a machine. Um, and it's a, it's a virtual machine on the computer itself. So uh, that way all the connection is all safe and above board and all that stuff. So. Um, but yeah, the, uh, that's what VM is virtual machine. You would get ray tracing up to 4k stream quality, uh, and basically unlimited FPS. But like I said, that option is not available yet. Hopefully soon, uh, coming soon, <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, so these are the options, uh, that you have right now, which is the standard. Um, if you don't know what this is, this is in euros because like I mentioned before, Boostroid is based out of, uh, the country Ukraine and they use uh, euros over there so this is 989 euros a month um, but uh, if you want a more closely resemblance to the US dollar because I'm in the US this is about ten ten dollars eighty cents a month uh, is the price for one uh, for the one month payment and uh, between that one it doesn't matter between the one month and 12 month both of these are exactly the same except for pricing um, that's the only difference um, so with the standard and with the or with the standard option here, you get the basic virtual machine, which is just just your standard everyday gaming computer, um, which is pretty damn awesome anyway. <laughs> uh, but uh, then you get up to the ten, uh, up to the uh, 1080p um, quality stream. Uh, this is this is good for most phones and tablets and heck even smart televisions because a lot of smart televisions, even the one I have. Um, they're they're older, uh, so 1080p is the standard um, standard high definition. So um, 1080p is good for me because I use a TV as a monitor, so that's the best I can do anyway. Um, but yeah, um, if you have a much higher quality monitor or anything, you, you know, it's just one of the things. But uh, yeah, and you get up to 60 FPS for your stream. So uh, all your stream is going to be in 60 FPS. Now these two, uh, keep in mind that these two things here, um, uh, do, uh, uh, do rely on your internet connection. And obviously the better the internet connection, the more you're going to be able to stay at that 1080p and 60 FPS. Um, now if you have roughly, you know, 
30 megabytes per second download speed. You're running, you know, 50 milliseconds or whatever. Um, you're going to be able to stay at this, so it's, it's no big deal. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> most phones and tablets, 1080p is more than it's more than good for those uh, and the 60 FPS as well. So, um, but yeah, like I said, there's no difference between the one month and the 12 month option. You get uh, the exact same other than the pricing and one's a month, one's for a year. So uh, the one for the year is cheaper uh, per month. Uh, but you, uh, when you, when you pay for the, the one year, it's a one-time payment of the 89, 89 euros, uh, which is just under a hundred dollars. Um, so just under 100 bucks and you get a full year if you are just starting out brand new i do recommend you start out with a one month option just in case things don't work out it's you know it's not that that big of a loss and stuff like that um and uh and uh, whatnot and if it is on a boosteroid side um depending on the uh terms and conditions of the uh of the refund policy um you know for that so uh but yeah like I said, no, no difference between here. The one thing they don't list, which I wish they would list it, um, is what Boosteroid, uh, the thing that Boosteroid keeps itself over the competition. Um, Boosteroid does not have uh, a, uh, a time limit on your session time. So when you're playing games with Boosteroid, you can play them for as long as you want. Five minutes or five hours, they do not care. Uh, you can play them and hopefully they never change that but uh yeah it's not like the competition where you get 30 minutes 30 minute session time and if you pay a bit more maybe you get an hour maybe you get two hours of session time um that's pretty hard for content creators when they're trying to use the cloud gaming service in order to make or in order to make videos with that service and they're trying to play games and stuff and they end up you know having to keep refreshing the session and it, you have to keep getting in line uh, to get connected to the next computer and it's pretty annoying with booster aid that's what sets them over the edge uh, on their competition is they they do not uh, have a session time limit the only time limit they have is an inactivity timer which is 10 minutes and at eight minutes you will get a warning that the session will be closed out automatically within 10 minutes so and of course if you have activity uh, you're no longer inactive obviously that timer gets reset so yeah it's just one of those things that uh, that uh, like I said they they uh, they should they honestly should list it here um, to say hey we we don't uh, uh, we don't have session time limit play for as long as you want <laughs> you know uh, I don't know it's just one of them things I, I think they should but uh, yeah uh, that's pretty much the pricing though like I said um, and this is in euros so uh, if you do have a discount code or an activation code uh, or discount coupon, make sure you enter those in here before you go to buy anything. So uh, if you come to this screen, you enter your code, you click apply or you enter the code here, click activate, uh, and then you go and purchase. Um, of course, with the subscription code, that works a little differently, but with the coupon, it will um, apply the appropriate discount to the appropriate options and then you go and purchase it so that's how that works it doesn't come in after it comes in before um so just just a little thing there. okay so then uh, we've gone through that uh we're gonna go ahead and get into the game now okay then back over here on the, the game uh side of things um yeah and like i said again internet connection issues unable to use boost rate service at this time because of my network so um but yeah one thing i would like to mention um is uh, a lot of people are probably wondering, you know, why do you support boost rate? Are you getting paid to say what you're saying? That kind of stuff, you know. And like I always tell, er, always uh, every episode, pretty much, I uh, always say that, no, boost rate does not pay me anything. And then you're probably wondering, you know, why do you, well, why do you support them? Why do you, what do you, uh, you know, why do you promote uh, boost rate? Uh, the reason I promote boost rate is uh, because, um, when I do these videos and stuff, they uh, uh, promoting their their service. They uh, promote my channel over on their Discord channel, so I'm allowed to post uh, my Boostroid videos over there, and that gives me uh, that gives me traffic on my YouTube page. So uh, that's pretty much our relationship with that. So yes, I do not get paid a single cent to say what I'm saying, as well as uh, the only thing they tell what they tell me to say is they say here we want you to mention these things but other than that you can say pretty much what you want and we want you to be honest about the service so um 
yeah it's just it's uh it's uh yeah it's that <laughs> i don't have much else to say other than that uh that's pretty much it's pretty simple so um but yeah that's why i uh that's why I promo Boost Strike because they uh, let me prom promote my channel, and plus I do like the service. The service is really good, so uh, I've had very minimal issues. And I say very minimal, and you're like, well, what about no issues? It's like uh, that's not true to real life. <laughs> if I say I have no issues, then obviously I'm lying there because uh, yeah, uh, there there are uh, a few little uh, you call it teething problems. Uh, but that's just with any cloud gaming service, not just Boostroid. Uh, mainly being the internet connection and the way you control the game and stuff like that can be... You, you might have to work out some things there. You may or may not, but uh, yeah. And again, I'd like to thank... Uh, or I'd like... Not again, but I'd like to thank Boostroid for allowing me to be part of the partnership program. Um, it's been a lot of fun, and I've definitely enjoyed being... Uh, partnered up with them for this uh, pretty much almost a year now, or at least a year, uh, at the very at the very most, maybe a year, but uh, yeah, they've been uh, uh, we've been partnered with them uh, for a while, so and it's been great, I've definitely enjoyed our, uh, our relationship, so and they've never asked me to be dishonest or asked me to lie on their behalf or anything like that, so and uh, I would not uh, also would not uh, promote a service that I would not use or promote anything that I would not use myself. Um, which again, usually, I'm using the service to play this game uh, or other games. Uh, it's just today is not the day with my internet connection being down, so or pretty much being down. I mean, you might as well not have an internet connection at this point. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's the way it is. Uh, so. Uh, we just pretty much treat it like that. Okay, so let's uh, let's get into this game finally. Let's uh, let's go. All right, and you are now on the uh, you're now on the satisfactory gameplay chapter. <laughs> Congratulations if you went if you've been watching up to this point. Um, I kind of been noting the chapters and stuff like that. That way, if if people have already heard the uh, heard about Booster Aid, uh and stuff like that, they don't have to. Uh, what are we doing today? Yeah, they don't. Oh, we were going to do oil. That's right. Uh, they don't have to go and watch it again every time. They can just uh, click the chapter. So I've been trying to work with chapters. I'm still new to YouTube. So uh, new-ish, I should say. I've, I've been uploading videos for over a year now. Uh, but yeah, I'm still kind of new-ish to there, uh, to how things work. And the chapters thing is still recently new-ish, I, I would say. Uh, but I've been, I've been getting there. Uh, but anyway, uh, we were going to do oil today because we need fuel, we need rubber, and we need plastic. As well as we need more power. <laughs> more power is more good. <laughs> as uh, one would say. Uh, so yeah, let's work on that. First, uh, oh, I still have the fuel on me. Okay. First of first, um, we have to keep these running right now. Uh, also, if you have not seen it, definitely go and check out uh, one of the more recent videos over on Coffee Stain. They have uh, released uh, a few things that they're not going to be adding to the 1.0 release, but there are a few things in there. Oh, I just used all my fuel. Uh, let me have that back. Um, I need I need at least a little bit. Um, and we'll have to go and collect more trees and stuff with the chainsaw, that's why. It's like, I need a little bit at least. Um, so I spent some time on there. Um, but I'll do that uh, off camera, of course, uh, if I need to collect more. Um, but yeah, they uh, they did show something that they will that they will be adding a little preview, just a little snippet of what they'll be adding, and it is related to biomass burners. So definitely check that out if you have not seen it. And also, if you have not done so, uh, definitely look at the closed beta video and uh, sign up for the closed beta. Should you uh, should you like satisfactory? You can, you can sign up for the closed beta on the 1.0 release. What is wrong over here? Oh, everything's full. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. Uh, have we made enough frames yet? Have you heavy modular frames? Um, that is one of the things we were working on. Oops. Um, Good. Kind of go over here. Uh, 51, 52, 53, 54. So 400, 800. Yeah, 800. 
This would be 1600. Oh, wait. I forgot. Once this box is full... Or no, hold on. Uh, 400, 800... Let's see, that's 1200 right there. 1200... 16... 20... So that's 2,000 right there. 2,400. We have it. 2,500. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's drop off all of our stuff in a box real quick. Just, ah, throw everything in there. Control. Control. Okay. Um, also, uh, if my internet connection wouldn't be down, I have uh, swapped browsers. I completely forgot about that. Uh, I forgot to mention that. I have swapped browsers to be using Booster Right On. Um, I'm going to be using Opera GX from now on um, because Opera GX is uh, much, seems to be much better. Um, I don't think that's enough. I think we'll have to come back for some more. But... Um, because uh, if you have been following the channel for a while, we'd be watching this series. Uh, there is a thing that I often complain about, which is the Control W function um, with uh, using Firefox and most browsers. Uh, all I think just pretty much all, almost all browsers have Control W, and what that does is it closes the window uh, that you're currently uh, looking at. And if you're using Boostrite, you know that's a bad thing <laughs> to have happen is to hit control w and this game uses control for a lot of the key bindings uh and i've been playing this game for over 2400 hours uh i'm not I, i've already tried i'm not going to be able to break the using control uh, for a lot of stuff so it's going to end up happening anyway even if i change the key binds within the game so uh that's just one of them things that i cannot control um and because all these browsers are like uh for one, they don't let you change the hotkey, uh, what Control W does or anything like that. But also for two, even if uh, it's just like, well, I don't even want to change the hotkey. Can I just disable hotkeys? And they go, no, you can't just do, you can't do that. It's just like a simple basic function to disable hotkeys, and you can't do it. It was like the whole sticky keys issue long ago with uh, Windows, where you couldn't disable sticky keys, and nobody wanted sticky keys, but they wanted everybody to have sticky keys. It was so annoying. But yeah, we have 2,500 frames now. Very nice. A bit of it in ass. Uh, yeah, luckily we don't have to worry about that uh, the Control W thing today. But uh, with Opera GX, uh, they allow me to. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you know, promoting Opera GX or anything like that. So don't worry about it. It's just uh, with Opera GX, I'm allowed to. Uh, let's get rid of that, by the way. And that um, I'm allowed to uh, change the hotkeys uh, within the browser and stuff like that, or completely remove them if I like. Um, so yeah, just uh, just a note that if you're going to use a browser uh, to play Booster or to to play Booster game or games with Booster, I should say. Uh, there we go. Uh, if you're going to use or use Boostrite on a browser, um, maybe think about Opera GX as one of the options, because um, then you can change like the hotkeys or disable them, that kind of stuff. Uh, don't have to worry about it, um, because there, there's there there there's very little, if anything, uh, if nothing, um, Boostrite can do to kind of remedy that. So, um, because that's that's a problem with the browser. Um, but uh, most of the time, if you're going to be using mobile devices, you're going to be using a uh, application anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, just one of the things us browser users have to worry about uh, trying to play that. All right, enough talking about boost, right? We need oil. Um, but I wanted to get the phase three uh, thing completed today, so or not the phase three thing completed, but the the the, uh, the versatile frameworks. Uh, we will no longer need those for anything. Uh, also, if you weren't here last time, we had to move the hub uh, and all that stuff because we need to expand this a little bit. Um, we still we still have some workings to do on this, but this all got changed uh, in the last episode. Uh, these pipes got moved and stuff like that, so they could support everything. The I like how the pumps are upside down. I think it's cool. <laughs> it works. Uh, but now everything's kind of on a grid, uh, on the main grid of the world, so that works there. Uh, very nice. We don't have any tickets. Uh, okay. So, uh, jetpack is going to be the next one. We need oil. Uh, 
So what do we need? Uh, we need, we're going to need oil. Definitely. Lots and lots of oil. So here is the things we are going to need. Da, da, da. Oh, what do I think? Uh, Q. There we go. Uh, we are going to need refineries. Um, I don't remember how many refineries. We're going to go... Twenty. We'll, we'll make twenty refineries. Um, we should be having the stuff to be able to do that. Uh, and then we are going to need... Oil extractors. We need four, I think, there's over there. Yeah, four oil extractors. Um, and that's pretty much that. I don't think we need any miners or anything. We are going to need concrete. Loads and loads of concrete. Um, sorry, I, I was... Uh, I've been playing a lot of Enshrouded, and the B key is how I access my backpack. <laughs> uh, stupid keys. Oh, I need to finish uh, doing that, too. Um, upgrading everything to Miner Mark II's. Um, I don't think I've done that to all the miners yet. And if I have, I need to, need to get rid of these damn things. Uh, I'll just put them in a box. Why not? Let's, do, let's worry about it later. Do, but actually, I'll keep them with me. I changed my mind again. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to need a lot of stuff, like I said. Uh, we're going to need four oil extractors and 20 oil refineries. We're going to go make a power station today. That's what we're going to do. Um, and then uh, we're going to do... Uh, uh, we need to do oil as, to, as well for plastic and rubber and fuel the packager okay so that's gonna that's gonna cost us plastic and then rubber and stuff like that it's, it's a big old mess but yeah we're going to go to a very specific location where there is a decent amount of oil it's an okay oil spot it, it's not great for uh plastic and rubber anyway um it's it's more for uh uh it's more for power um, it'll it'll do decent on power, um, but that's about it. So, okay. So, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and head over there. Um, yeah. -do. Running across the desert, do -de do, jumping over dunes, do -de do. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, uh, yeah. I have monsters on retaliate, so they they don't attack me. I don't. I, the combat's just. Not the greatest thing in the world for me. Um, I'm just not. I'm not a big fan of the uh, what you call it of the uh, of the combat in this game. I just it just don't think it fits. It feels more of an add-on than it than part of the game, you know, or feels like a mod or something like that. That's just that's just me though. Okay, so the oil we're looking for is right over here. Like I said, 2,400 hours on this game. I know I know where stuff's at. <laughs> we got four oil nodes over here. Um, two are normal, and I think two are impure. That's why I'm using it for power. So normal, normal, and then the one up there on that shelf was impure. And this one is impure. Okay. All right, so there's our four, uh, our four oil nodes um, that we're going to be using for power today, because uh, we're, we're we need to get away from coal. Um, oh, we don't have power generators yet, so we need plastic and rubber. Hmm. We could use. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, it's not it's not a great spot for plastic and rubber. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we are going to um, we're gonna we're gonna make a plastic and rubber and fuel factory over here, uh, but a small one. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to then convert it later into uh, we're gonna convert it later into um, into a uh, into a power plant. So that'll be the thing. 
because I know where I want to do my plastic and rubber um, to produce quite a quite a bit of co uh, quantities of it. But uh, yeah, right now is the right now it is an issue um, as well. So I'm just trying to think what kind of structure do I want to go with? I mean, I don't have all the pieces yet, but I do want to get a platform going. Uh, a two meter, probably. Uh, we need to get at least high enough to get above all of this. So, yeah, okay, that goes above that. That goes above that, because we're going to need a lot of room. Oh, we're going to have to go up and over those, I forgot. Yeah, you see these uh, big old platforms over here? Yeah, we're going to have to go up and over these. So, if we place that there... Let's uh, do some rampage. I th thought I was doing ramps. I uh, was doing ramps. There we go. So do it like that. Okay. It's just temporary. Um, I just want to figure out uh, if we're high enough yet. It uh, looks like we are. Are we high enough for this? Nope. We need to go up two more meters. Oops. So two meter. Oops. Yeah, two meter. Okay, not quite enough, so a four meter. Okay, so that's, uh, and then... Is that high enough for this side? So this little rock here is always an issue. Um, yeah, this little rock here is always an issue. Okay, so we need to go up some more. And then we'll two meter clear that. Oops. Yes, a two meter will clear that. Ooh, are we, I don't know if we're are we high enough to clear that thing? We just keep going higher and higher. Nope. Don't think we are. You'll see, uh, once we build the power station, you guys will see why I have to go really, really tall with this. I just don't remember how tall. That is the uh, main issue there. It's like, I don't remember how tall we need to go. Okay, so one more, four meter. That'll get us up there, and then a two meter. That'll get us up there. Okay, there we go. Now we're tall enough <laughs> to we're tall enough to overdo everything. Okay. So from here, I think from here, yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to. That's the size it's going to be. Um. Nah, we'll leave it. Slate that one first. Okay. Now we can run back this way. I just had to make sure we were tall enough to overshadow most of the structures. Because like I said, this is going to be a mega structure. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. But I, I want all my concrete back. <laughs> so basically this is going to be an oil platform, but, but on land. It's gonna hurt. Ow, my knees. My knees went crunch. Okay. So that's the height right there. Pretty damn tall. Though. So because of that spike there, we probably want to avoid going that way. Uh, how many are we? So it's 
so 21. Um, it needs to be a multiplicative of 3. Um, so you, let's say you had like 20 generators on one side. I don't know if we could do that. Uh, 20 generators in total, sorry. Yeah, 10. So 10 times... 10 times 3 is 20, so we probably want to do more than that. Oh, no, we probably want to base it off the train station size, right? Um, because we're going to be making uh, fuel. Uh, and we, then we can send fuel and other things. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, probably 30. Let's see. If you did a 10-car train, that would be 12 foundations. Uh, or sorry, 10-car train, that would be... Um, 11, 11 times 2, so that's 22, and then plus one other side, so that's 24. Okay, yeah, so if we did 30, 5, 36, 1, 2, 3, I'm sorry, I'm counting on the other side of my face here. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that's what it just felt like saying. Uh, so 30, 36, I think. So at 21... 22, 23, yeah, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, so there's 26. And then we're going to go 5 this way. All right, 26, 27, 28, 6. Yeah, so 26, and we're going to go to 36. So we're going to go 5 this way, and then we'll go 5 this way. And basically, this will give us our length of our platform here. This is why I did it. Because I, I, I remember how big this needs to be. So five that way as well. Just making sure it doesn't overshadow. Because that's a road right there I kind of want to keep. I don't know why, but I just do. Alright. So then, we need to figure out how wide we want to go. So if the if the track's uh, sharpest corner is a 3x3... Three um, you at least want it six wide, um, uh, plus the five, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, the five for the platform. So eleven, um, twelve, twelve wide. Right now we're what, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. And that should roughly be around this, uh, the size of this rock here. Yeah. Perfect. And yeah, because it's a three and then a three, so that's six, uh, to make a U turn. And then you would have the foundation, which would be, or the train station, which would be an extra three. Yeah. And then plus all the width you could want, so. We'll do that. And then we'll take it all the way down there. Let's get this outlined and then I'll fill it in. And we're going to have multiple floors. We're going to have a logistics floor and we're going to have a uh, an actual um, what time is there? Pick this up so it stops yelling at us. Okay. And we'll get that all filled in. Okay, so. Let's see. This is our. This is the top flat. The, 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 this is the top platform. <laughs> all the things. Uh, so we need to figure out how deep each floor is going to be. Obviously, the floor is not going to expand all the way that way. Necessarily. Um, I might even draw it back this way some more. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Let's pull it. Let, let's, let's pull it back. Uh, how many foundations is that going to be? 
One, two, three, four, five foundations. Okay. And I won't be able to delete the other ones up there. Uh, maybe I'll do. Maybe. I think there's going to be one up there that I can't get to, but that's fine. Uh, just remember that we got to add five to the other end. Um, yeah, because uh, we're going to have multiple floors. So the next floor down is going to be the logistics floor. So uh, the train station uh, for a lot of it is going to be up there. Um, don't worry, we'll have a uh, we'll have a, a train spiral going up, so it won't be too bad. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the train's going to be up there. The there's going to be a building on top. Um, we're going to have some buildings on top as well, doing most of the manufacturing. But I want a logistics floor that's at least two foundations deep, or two foundations, I guess, tall. Um, and then another two meter, of course. Uh, Soup that. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to think. I think I want to do. Uh, we want to stick with the rounded legs, maybe. But we want to get bigger ones, I should say. Um, let's see. It's going to be. So if, if we say we go in one, right, like this, how would we do the corners on that? We need to figure this out before we put that floor in, because then we'll figure out where all the legs go. Um, so it's going to be, well, it's probably going to be like this, because I want a big old leg, you know, I want a big old leg. Uh, and not the character from, uh, not the character from Saints Row. <laughs> a big, a big leg. We'll say that. This is going to be a pain, but, um, you know, yeah, we'll just, we'll just leave that there. It's fine. Um, uh, okay. We're going to need to bring this in then. Uh, big old foundation. So foundations, go with this. So we're going to bring it in two, then um, that'll work. Okay, then we'll just do vertical like this. Ah, that's going to hurt. Ow. Looks like we're going to have to bring it down off the cliff side. Oh, come on. Get get there. Get that. Uh, uh, dip. Hey, we got it. Okay, and then we want half meter foundations, or we want half foundations. Now these ones we want to point a very specific way, so we don't want to see. Actually, maybe we do want to see the the bit. So if I put that like that, can you see the bit? It's hard to tell because of the color, uh, and I'm using white as a, uh, oh, what you call it, uh, as a hologram color. I like the white better. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are always like, why do you use white? Why not use the, 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 the standard color? Well, there's a problem with the standard color for me is that when I'm trying to do splitters and mergers, the blue is often really close to the same color as the uh, output color on those uh, ports when I'm doing, doing belt systems. So it's, it, white's just better for me. Um, it's way easier to see anyway, for, especially from a distance and especially at night uh, when it's nighttime in this game, it looks really good. Okay, so we'll do that. Now we'll have to... We might have to go up there in order to see that. Okay. We'll put the corner in. Oh, wait. Yeah, put the corner in. Okay. Yeah, put the corner in. Because the corner goes all the way down here, so... There we go. That's why I wanted the outside, because the corners also do that, so... Okay, the corner as well goes all the way down here. 
Freaking wind speed is crazy today. Hope I don't lose power. We're getting a uh, like 70 mile per hour wind gusts right <laughs> right now. It is insane outside. So yeah, if you hear any noises, just attribute it to that uh, that to that. You hear any odd noises or whatever coming through the microphone? Can't really do much about it when it's a you know loud bang or anything like that where it's you know wind. I hope my uh, I hope my wooden fence holds up. I built that with my I built that wooden fence with my own two hands. I'd rather not lose it. <laughs> I'd rather not fall down. Uh, yeah, we had to big uh, build a big old privacy fence. So. Uh, we didn't. I mean, guess we didn't have to, but we had the. Uh, uh, we had some reclaimed uh, panel wood, the, the little panels. I forget what they're called. Uh, what you call it? <laughs> Those little panels. Oh, I already. Did I already do that? No. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, we're good. Just looked uh, weird for some reason. Okay, that's the opposite side. There we go. For some reason, it wants to switch back. I guess nor uh, most people would want the non-textured side of it to match stuff, but that's right. Okay, that's one whole. Wow, that's a big old leg. That's a big old leg. That's exactly what I wanted, though. And we're going to space these out roughly down the uh, down the list here, uh, one in each corner, of course. And then uh, then we'll put the uh, we'll put the floor down, or put the next floor down, I should say. Okay, that didn't take forever at all. <laughs> I finally got all the legs in place, though. We've got five legs. Um, we only had to expand the foundation out uh, two um, because this fifth leg, that's where it ended up was, was that and then two. Uh, if I had three more, then the then there's going to be extra there. So I think this is long enough, to be honest. Uh, so we'll go with, uh, what would that be, 32 rather than 35 or something like that? I'm not really sure. But anyway, all these are all separated out exactly the same. So the ones between the center are also the same that are between there so uh what we're gonna do is like i said we're going to add a second floor onto this it's going to be uh two foundations or should be or should it be two and a half foundations yeah we'll go two and a half why not yeah but then we gotta uh we gotta do that and that, and we'll have to drag it through the leg um, on parts of it. Okay, so oh wait a minute, that's on a different that's on a different grid. Hold on, whoops. <laughs> okay, that's all on a different grid. I need to. Uh, I completely forgot that those were half foundations I was connecting to. Uh, so I'll have to remove all that. Let's try again. <laughs> Oopsie. We will still make it two and a half foundations, though. We just gotta do it off the corner. Okay, so there's one, there's two, two foundations, and then, you know, let's go for three foundations. Would that work for this? Of course it would. It'd be the same. Um, yeah, three foundations with the space. Yeah, I like three foundations with the space. Okay. Then we just gotta fill in this whole section. Okay. Where the legs are, we'll have to go in between. Yeah, that's, that's actually good, because it's still above... Uh, that, which that one I think is the tallest, isn't it? Yeah, because this one... Actually, yeah, I should probably uh, look at making sure... 
Yeah, let's let's look at making sure that's uh, up to snuff up there. So when we put the floor in, it's not going to be clipping. The rock is not going to be clipping through the floor because the floor is going to be the same size as the upper. This floor is going to be the same size as the upper floor. So um, can I get up here? Maybe. Now if we run around, is there any way up? No. Hmm. Well, I guess there's always one way up. Foundations. <laughs> we'll have to do a rev case to uh, get up there. Okay. Eh. Oh, come on. Eh. Nope. Oh, let's stand up here. Eh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. I think... Yeah, this is... Wait a minute. Is this not line either? No, it is. Okay. It just misses that. So, no, we're good. We're good. And, yeah, there's no more... There's no more things in the way. We're still... We're also above that, too, which is good, so... Alright. I'll call that good, then. We are good. This is our logistics floor, by the way. Belts and pipes and things. Um, most of it's going to be under... On this level. Um, oops. I need to turn that to soup. That way we can run all our stuff. It's always good to have logistics levels in certain factories. Uh, we're still going to have belts and pipes and stuff in the main factory up there. Uh, but it's going to be a lot less so if we have a logistics floor. Let's see that. So it's one, two. Okay. Because I can't see up there above that. <laughs> Some of these legs are embedded within the rock. But hey, that just gives more strength to the structure, eh? Or does that weaken the structure? It might weaken the structure, probably. <laughs> yeah, this is costing a lot of foundation. I've already had to go back twice for foundations. Um, back to the base. Because <laughs> it is expensive. I just don't want to run a half foundation through the leg uh, where the full foundation is. There's no reason to. Okay, 10 out of that. Yeah. Just over the top of that archway. That rock arch. Natural arch. Ah, sweet. Yeah, we were supposed to be playing uh, some more shrouded today, too. Damn internet connection. And I did test it as well while I was building. Uh, did, did a few little tests and stuff to see if it was still having issues. And it is, of course. Um, so, yep. Still no, uh, still no boost right? Uh using the actual service just in case you're kind of hopping through the video or whatever uh, we are having internet issues uh, with our uh, uh, with our computer um, so we're not able to record uh, us using the service like we normally do with uh, with satisfactory usually we uh, use the service while playing satisfactory and then you guys can see all the stuff live any any hiccups or any, anything that happens, you know, that kind of stuff, if we have hiccups, but usually we don't. It's, it's very rare, but, yep, my PC is being dumb. Um, doesn't realize that it has a much better internet connection than it's than uh, it's trying to give me. Um, hopefully I'll get it fixed this soon, though. Okay, that's most we're going to have to go up there from this side to finish. It's, uh, it's, it's been interesting, we'll say that. <laughs> um, because we're still promoting Boostroid, we're just not using it today. Um, like I said, um, internet is very, very important when it comes to using Boostroid, and when you can't use it, man, because you, you know, the internet, uh, you, you don't have a good enough internet connection with your device, it's, it doesn't even try. Uh, at, at least at my level, it does not try. <laughs> I have 8 megabytes download speed. That is my max right now. 8 megabytes download speed and almost no upload speed whatsoever. It is abysmal. Yeah. But that's just something I have to deal with.
to get everything else filled in here. Okay, just the middles of these. Finish filling that in. And then uh, I think next time uh, we'll uh, actually start working on the actual factory. We'll get all the parts together and stuff um, uh, to put our, our factory together, uh, together uh, for here. Um, we're going to make a, uh, to put the, uh, next time we'll, we should have, uh, at least be able to try and get to making power with fuel, uh, you know, using fuel generators and such. Okay. That's the entire floor done. Uh, the second floor. Okay. So down here, we're going to make a, uh, we are going to make a temporary factory. Let me pick a normal mode here. Um, this will be a temporary, like really temporary factory. Um, Oops. I used my auto clicker in that uh, messed stuff up. I was trying to remove these because we're not doing that today. Um, okay, so uh, oil extractor. We need one oil extractor. Oil extractor. Get out of my way. I'm trying to. I'm trying to harvest oil. Oil and oil re. Ooh, accessories. There we go. Now that's within the foundational grid. Okay. Because then we'll uh, uh, we'll be pointed to this. I'm actually going to go up here uh, with it. That way it uh, it does the thing. It does the things and the stuffs and the doing. So, you know, all that goodness. It's going to be extremely temporary. Uh, these guys are in my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. <laughs> Come on, man. I got stuff to do. Right, you know what? Your guts. Why can I not slide underneath this? Nope, it won't let me. <laughs> I tried. Okay, we'll just go to this side then. Eh! Whoa! Well. Fine. Just make it a pain. Right, let's take care of this guy. They got fireballs. Where are you going? Uh, he want nothing. He didn't want nothing to do with me. <laughs> He's like, nope, 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 nope. It's like when, uh, <laughs> you know, when we're in a fight with a, uh, you know, like a boss or something. It's just like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Come on, please live. <laughs> just hoping and praying. Like I said, this is going to be extremely, extremely temporary, so. I just need enough room to make a few factories. Okay, so we're going to have to do this. Um, there's only one way we can do this at the moment, because we don't really have the recipes for anything else, so. Okay, here we go. Right, so, first things first. Um... So, like I said, first things first, uh, production, refinery. We're going to slap a couple refineries down. One for plastic, one for rubber um, as well. We might need more than one. Is this okay? Oh, that's why it's yellow is because the, uh, the chimney is sticking out the top. So this is a refinery, because uh, I know you guys, uh, if you're watching this series, but I haven't really seen any satisfactory, uh, this is going to be new to you. So this is the refinery. Let's actually remove that piece of floor, just so you can see the chimney. Uh, so there's the smoke chimney. It smokes out the top. It also smokes out of the top of that as well. Um, yeah, this is a refinery. So we're going to set this one uh, to uh, plastic. 
because uh, we can't use res residual plastic because we don't have any polymer resin coming in. So these recipes take other stuff. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to do just the regular plastic recipe, um, which uh, produces now. Here's the trick to plastic and rubber. Making plastic and rubber with a normal recipe produces heavy oil residue. So you're going to have, basically it's a byproduct of making plastic from crude oil. Uh, and this, this heavy oil residue, we're going to have to do something with. Um, and the best thing we can do is store it, store it in a, a, a couple massive storage tanks, uh, if we can. Uh, the other thing is, is we could use it to produce, uh, uh, to produce other products uh, and stuff like that. Or we can uh, make containers and sink it. Uh, and so basically, if you want to sink this, if you want to put this into a sink, you got to put it into a container first and then sink it. So that's just how that's going to have to do. I'm also going to overclock this to the moon, which is going to make 50 plastic. Um, let me put the next one down. So this one will be for rubber. But I want to see what rubber does when you overclock it fully. I don't remember the number. So it also does 50. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two. I don't know why I deleted that. Uh, I need copper sheets. Crap. Okay. We need copper sheets anyway. Uh, we need copper sheets for pipes and things. Uh, so we're going to head back home. Well, at least you guys get to ride the lightning. Let's go ride the lightning together. <laughs> ACDC. Add the light. Okay. Or. That's, uh. Sorry, that's, um. Metallica. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Anymore. I don't care about being correct on that. Um. I like them all. I like all rock. All rock and roll. But yeah, we, uh, I made this to go all the way back, so we can ride this as well all the way back to all the way back to home base. So I, I I didn't I just after the first time of coming back to get um, concrete, I'm like okay, never again. <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt. Uh, my knees. Okay, so we, like I said, we needed um, copper sheets. So copper sheets are over here. Yeah, that's right. We put copper sheets all by themselves over here. I, I need to trade the box out for a bigger box. And uh, we can do that. So. That won't take too long. Yeah, this is copper sheets. Okay. So what we're going to do, put this over here. I'm also going to remove this belt so it doesn't uh, disturb the machines. Take all of our cup sheets, stick them here. All of our cup sheets, stick them in here. All of our cup sheets, pick that up. Uh, organization, put down an industrial storage cake. Hey, great. I said Kate. Don't know why. Don't ask me. Grab our belt, put that in there, and take all of our cup sheets in here, all of our cup sheets put in here, all of our cup sheets put them here. Okay, so that's all the cup sheets we have, and then we'll have a much uh, th this um, having these will uh, help us out later in the future having having an entire box. Five. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, we'll take off two because I'm gonna need to grab concrete as well. Um, actually, maybe not. That's fine. Whatever. We need cable though. We definitely need cable. Um, what else did that need that uh, we would have been low on? Uh, let's see. Refineries take up. Okay, so we'll fill up on that. Uh, we're going on pipes. Motors, we want to fill up on motors uh, as well. So, we. Oh, we.
Uh, if you remember, we had made a factory for these. Yep. These, it's they're slow, but they do work. Um, we'll just take two stacks. Two stacks are good. Uh, and then we want a stack of motors, which are right here. Oh, look at all those motors. There are too many motors. Okay, good on motors. Uh, what else was it? It was... I've already forgotten. Uh, motor... Okay, no, we're good. All right. But yeah, we use... The reason I took so many copper sheets is we use copper sheets for... Um, oops, I don't know why I'm going this way. Uh, we use copper sheets for piping, too, so... Oh, how are we doing on everything else? Uh, rods and plates. We are good. Like I said, it'll only be a little temporary factory just to get us the, uh, just to get us, uh, the milestones. Um, uh, cause we, we need those milestones done so that the reason we're doing that is so we can unlock, um, the fuel generators so we can generate power from fuel and then we'll turn this into a fuel factory. It'll be a mega build. Like we're we're talking. I mean, you've already seen the scale of the platform. Uh, we're that's not even halfway done with the mega build. Uh, we still got more to do. Also, I thought I finished the floor. What the heck? Oh, these are one meter. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghetti goes. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's, um, that's heartbreaking right there. Because I freaking used one meter right there. Yeah, you can see, that's why it looks so weird. Because I was using one meter. Alright, where does the, so there's one meter there. Oh, well. That's not gonna be fun to fix. Oh well, we'll, we'll fix it later. Uh, we got we got this to do. So. Okay, so yeah, overclocking using making twenty five heavy oil residue per minute. Control C, Control V. Okay, so now we would be making fifty, and if we stick this here. So what about the residual rubber? Oh no, that takes uh, that takes polymer resin. Can we even make polymer resin? We can make fuel. We can make fuel, but then we need to do something with the fuel. Um, we can make. Oh, we can turn it into petroleum coke. I forgot we got that recipe. Um, we can turn all of our heavy oil into petroleum coke. Um, and then we can sink it from there. Well, I mean, we're going to be making can or containers. I think we can make containers, can't we? Oh, but that'll be in something else, but yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to be making containers anyway, so. Oops, wrong recipe. Uh, this one. Okay, so crude oil, and then, yeah, we're going to be producing uh, rubber as well. Then we'll fully overclock that. It's going to be 75. Okay. Um, how much can this oil node push? Right now it's going to be doing 120 per minute. We're going to fully overclock it, see what it does. 300. Okay, 300. And that will serve 75, 75, 75. And if we do one more... Another 75. C. Whoops, this one's backwards. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Green is output. Yellow is input. Okay. Um, so rubber. Pull the overclocked. Control C, Control V. Uh, okay, 75. Yeah, 75. Okay, this is all good. Yep, we're all good here. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then we take our 75 times 4. That's 300 exactly. Perfect. Okay. We can, and the pipe is also 300. So we might be struggling on oil a little bit. 
Uh, we'll see, because the, the pipes aren't exact. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's going to be interesting, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we'll put an, uh, put this like this. Okay, and grab our pipe. Oh, it was the middle line that that lined up to. Okay, that's fine. One, two. Pipe. Okay, again, run our pipe. One, two. Wait, did I keep that in mind? Why is it? Why does that look so weird? Now it is in place. Oh, it's on noodle. Oops. Uh, which means uh, that this one is also messed up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then you're thinking, oh, we only have one pipe. It's like, give me a minute. Oh, that's interesting. So I've never tried to put. A uh, pipeline cross on a slope before. Ooh, look at this. Okay. Interesting. I could have probably put that a little closer, though. Oh, and it's also not exactly in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Would that be in the middle? Oh, I think so. Oops. Like I said, this is only temporary anyway, but I want it to look at least a little decent. Yeah, there's one, two, three sections there. Uh, one, two, three sections there. Okay, yeah, perfect. Alright, and we'll just... That like that. Line it up. Hmm, doesn't want to line up. I'm actually going to slope that pipe. I don't think we'll need a pump, um, because it, it, it's, let's see, these can do a, a head lift of four meters, right? Is it, or it's four, it's eight meters? Or is it four meters? Blueprint, or, uh, production. Ten meters, okay, yeah, that's more than enough. This is a four, five meter, six meter, seven meter at the most 8 meter at the top of the pipe, so yeah, we're good. Alright, then we'll grab some power from back here. I always like to take the power and stick it back here in like the sand or whatever. Or if there's a base around it, then put it at the base. The reason is, is because uh, there's flames that shoot out the top. Right, that, see that little white bit on the machine? Yeah, that'll shoot out flames, so I don't want the... Not that the wires get burned or anything, I just don't want to visually look like it's trying to burn my wires. Uh, then we'll just do this. And then, like I said, it is temporary, so. Yeah, there we go. We're now pumping oil at the rate of 300. Okay. And then we'll get these connected. And once we do a, a full blown factory here, I'll show you how to connect these together. Um, doing it a really good way. Uh, but for now, we'll just do this. So yeah, if you just line it up with the center of the machine. And then you can just do this. 
And that's an okay way of doing it. It's just I don't like to see the wires all too much when I build when I build proper. Okay. We'll run this there. And then run it to there. Oh, and we pulled too much power. <laughs> that jump. Holy crap. Okay. Well then, uh, we are going to need to up something. Um, just so that we can... <laughs> that was funny. Instant power outage. Oh, what am I doing? Just get up on the tower. Okay, well, you, you get the idea anyway. Um, we'll fix it later. Because I gotta... Uh, if I'm gonna fix that, I'm gonna have to put down no, more biomass burners. And putting down more biomass burners means going out and collecting trees and and, and stuff like that, just so I can feed them uh, with um, solid biofuel. So, or sorry, biomass. So we'll just finish the factory, and then uh, I'll worry about power later. Um, but anyway, uh, so we've got these right here, um, like that. So. The idea was we produce the plastic, we produce the rubber. Um, we're going to put down a, uh, a merger. Oh, we're going to have the pipes out here too. So all we had is all we have is this fluid buffer. That's it. Okay, so we'll go straight into. Do we have the packer? Yes, it. No, we don't. We don't have the packer yet? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to. No, Mom. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> imagine. Yeah, that is unfortunate, though. Um, just trying to think what I can do. So, organization, we're just going to have to store it for now. Because we don't even have the packer. I was gonna. What I was gonna do was I was gonna use some of the plastic being produced here and put it into a packer. So you you put the plastic or sorry the plastic into a uh, where is it production constructor. So I was gonna combine the plastic, put it into a box, but then have this make. Uh, oh, we don't even have that recipe yet either. But basically, this would make canisters, and then it'd go into another machine along with the heavy oil residue, and then it would pack the heavy oil residue into barrels, and then we put that barrels put the barrels into a sink. So, then unfortunately, that's not a that's not a uh, that's not an option. So, uh, we're just going to do this for now. Then um, conveyor merger. Yeah, we'll line this up. Logistics belt. One, two. Put my belt under there. This is very temporary. So we're gonna merge the two. Like that. Same with this side. We did connect that merger, didn't we? Yeah, okay. Connect that into there. And then put the packager down. Oh. Okay, well, this will have to go out here then. We'll just line it up here. I think that's correct. Yep, that's correct. Right there. And then, oh. I need more frames! Okay, well, can we make more? I just need a few. Uh, production, craft bench. 
bunch of frame. I just needed like what two? No, I needed three actually. Okay, we'll make one more. Good thing we have some materials on hand. But now you, now you guys are kind of getting the idea of how I normally play Satisfactory. Because uh, when I'm playing with Boostroid, uh, well, I guess that's not an option, that's not a problem anymore, but usually when I was playing Boostroid, I had to be a little bit careful with the controls. I had to dance around, dance around the control key a little bit, so I had to be a little more precise um, with my movements, so I didn't accidentally close the, the whole browser. <laughs> At <laughs> one time, uh, it was funny though. It, w it was hilarious when it happened. Okay, that's gonna be a pain. That goes over there. Really, you're gonna be this much of a pain. Ah. Uh, happy? <laughs> you happy now? Put that there, put that there. Put that down there. Put that down there. Remove that. Oh! I had the frames. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, I forgot that existed. Shut up. Don't laugh at me. It's rude to laugh at the disabled. <laughs> it is. It's like, well, it is. This is a PSA straight from Dirty Side. Then people are going to be asking, is he really disabled? And, I'll, I, and my answer is, I don't know, probably. <laughs> I would not doubt it. I mean, I am disabled, like, physically, but... That's like a more mentally... Probably. Alright. So then, uh, do we have... We could use the boost rate purple primary. Uh, ooh. That's hard on the eyeballs. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that is really hard on the eyeballs. Uh, that's not the boost, right? Purple, by the way. That's that's the that's the color I have attributed to them now. Purple and blue. So they're mostly blue, but they got a bit of purple in them. Okay, but uh, the reason that I did purple here. Is because the heavy oil residue is purple. It's a purple liquid, so figured that was uh, probably the best choice. Okay, so then for this one, we're gonna swap this to. Do we have? Oh, I don't have anything saved. Hold on. Let's do save block black. Save preset. Okay, and then. Save it. Because it saves where the sliders are. So save preset. That probably makes more sense. Save preset. Okay. So now I can select black and white there. I mean, I could do concrete, concrete primary, but. We'll do that. So the reason I'm doing black pipes, obviously, it's crude oils, so it's going to be black in color so then we then we know it's in the pipe I mean we already know it's in the pipe but now we're doubly made uh, doubly know what's in the pipe okay so there's that that's all powered okay and then the heavy oil residue is gonna end up in here um, all right so then we'll go 
Um, organization, storage. Oh, I'm going to have to put the storage past it, huh? That's the line? Nope. Ever that is the line. So we got rubber, plastic. So we can't even make packaged fuel. We cannot even make packaged fuel because we don't have the recipe for it. <laughs> because you need the packager and the containers. Ugh. Anyway. Okay, so we've got, uh, this will be the rubber box, that'll be the plastic box. Perfect. So at least we're making that, or we will be, once I get the power back on. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be the factory. Um, so then what we do is uh, when it's when it, uh, when these fill up with heavy oil residue, what you do is you just hit the flush key, and it'll make a, it'll make a toilet flushing sound when it's got liquid in it. And just do that, and leave it on um, this fluffer, uh, this uh, fluid buffer. Just leave that setting, and you just go through all four of them, put that like that, and that I'll have to do for now. Um, these will fill up with heavy oil residue, and it'll stop producing. If this machine fills up completely with heavy oil residue, it'll stop producing rubber. Same with the plastic; it'll stop producing plastic. So, um, yeah, that's just one of the things. Uh, let me remove this wire. And let's reset the power. Really, it's not even reaching. Oh well. We'll work on it next time. Uh, like I said, uh, off camera, I'm going to... Um, I have it in my inventory. I'm going to be going out and collecting to make a uh, collecting um, stuff to go out and make a bunch more biofuel. So um, we'll have a full box of biofuel hopefully um, for next time. But yeah, uh, since we're out of power and that'll be have to be the next thing, and we're let me remove these just for now. Uh, and we're at a stage where we can't produce anything because we're out of power because plastic and rubber is the next thing on our list. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, we'll call it that for now. Uh, it's perfect timing anyway. We're over over our time limit, I'm sure, uh, by this point. But anyway, like I said, that is going to be it. So, uh, yeah, just as, uh, just as a quick little thing, uh, I forgot to mention it earlier on in the episode, if you ever do want to get a subscription to Booster Red, um, there is a link down in the description below that will help you do that. And if you decide to do that, I do help you because uh, your help, or I, if you do that, I, I do thank you because you are helping out the channel. There we go, English. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you decide to do that, um, definitely uh, please use that link and you will help out the channel. But anyway, uh, like I said, that is going to be it. So I do hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I guess it's a. Goodbye.